guys, this is Evan is the man MC, and I just made my own little invention invention here using the physics of Minecraft, which is actually very inefficient, other than these two items here, uh, sand and gravel. The only two items in Minecraft that are affected by gravity when there's nothing underneath it that is underneath it. Do that. Okay. And with the physics of Minecraft, I have created here, this is the same copy as that, a Minecraft printer where you can copy a long column of both sand and gravel, put it in a machine like this, and it will print out a picture for you. First of all, well, actually, no, I'm just going to show you it. This might take a while. Okay. Seems to be working pretty good. Oh, I forgot something. Well, I got this. I got this! Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's all good. It's all good now. Okay, so it's still printing. Might be able to see what it is now. There's the end of the column. Hey, it's a creeper face. I just need to add more of his forehead. Like... Like that. There we go. You might want have noticed that I added those four extra blocks there, but I needed those four extra blocks in order to get these all the way there. If they weren't there, then it would have stopped four blocks early. It wouldn't have pushed the rest out. So, basically, I'm just going to show you the machine, and then I'll show you how I made it, like how I made the column. First of all, you have the power source, and it just sits there waiting for a block to sit here because when once a block hits right here it will power through that block and power this powering the piston and pushing it off to the side and that's basically what does it all and then it will and then it will power off but then when another one hits it it will do it again like that as you can have seen and then, once it gets a whole 13 blocks, or 9 compared to the pistons, it gets right here, which is almost using the same thing, where there's a power source, and it doesn't even matter if it's a whole row, as long as the final one reaches here, will um, it push it all and it's all connected here. Notice that there's not a connection to this one, the first one, but it will go off automatically before all the other ones because it would be powering it through there. Oh, I just screwed that up. But... And so it just goes through there and this here connects back to here and retracts but then um, puts back the power source. And so what that does is it just fixes it real quick because usually once uh, if it wasn't there and the power source sat there here let's just put it up to more than 13 blocks 
I'm not really counting, but I know it's more than 13. Connect it back again. Pull it back. So it's going to do all the normal stuff. But once it gets to the end, it would usually just push it out and then it would sit there because and if it works fine for you then good it should be that way but sometimes it will just sit there and not do anything because it got stuck here over here but apparently it's not work it's not doing anything bad this time so it's good if you're wondering what these bubbles are around me, I just gave me this everlasting good potion stuff. This is just what retracts it. You don't need that. You can just pull or just destroy the block it's yourself, but I do it the lazy way. Now, first of all, to make all of this, oh, this is a train wreck. Ah, wrong material. Okay, but basically, if you, depending on how many pistons you have set up, you will have, oh, that's not right, you will have a, if this, see here, this is nine, so if, depending on how many you have, compared to how close it can get to this one, it would be a nine by nine square. And though it's now messed up really badly, basically what you do is you first make your design like so. Can I built it without all this? These two rows. Those are the ones I was just adding when I was experimenting, but. So you make your 9x9 nine nine thing there, I'm not sure if that is, but you get the point. And what you do is to make one of those long columns, you go, like, you just read that, you can tell how there's just a whole nine, a whole row of sand, nine pieces of sand, so that's what that is. And then the next one is two sand a gravel, three sand, a gravel, and two sand. So that's what I did. There's two sand, a gravel, three sand, a gravel, and two sand. And then to the next one would be two sand, and then four gravel, and then two sand. As twice. So you do that part twice, but depending on what you want to make. and you ha It has to be made of sand and gravel. But... This is my own design. I just came up with the idea. Might be other, might be the same thing on other YouTube videos, but this is my own thought up thing without any help. And I thought it was pretty cool. And I just made this this thing here as a a a model, I guess, to what I would want to just put right there. Or I could just copy and paste it on World Edit. So, thanks for watching. I hope you liked my invention. Please like uh, and subscribe and comment on what you thought about it. And keep Minecrafting!